Vote passed by 428 to 1, so really broad bipartisan support for this bill. What could the fallout be? That's right, Sherry. Um, yeah, so if this bill is taken up by the Splint Senate, the legislation would further restrict goods coming from Xinjiang. So, I mean, of course, there's already some restrictions, uh, for example, on cotton, tomatoes, and some solar products. Um, but this bill really has this rebuttable presumption clause that basically assumes all goods uh, coming from Xinjiang made with forced labor. And so it really puts the onus on the exporters. Um, so if this does come through, of course, we would expect a strong reaction from China, um, it, which has, of course, denied the genocide and the forced labor allegations and um, also says that the U.S. is really using this for political purposes. Canada, in the meantime, the latest country to say that it's skipping the Winter Olympics. We saw Beijing's reaction to Australia announcing the diplomatic boycott yesterday. They said, uh, quote, nobody cares. With many countries now doing the same, does Beijing start to care? Yeah, there's certainly a lot on uh, Chinese social media, um, state media um, on these topics. Um, so uh, certainly, I think, uh, China cares to some extent, um, and of course it has um, threatened consequences and countermeasures uh, following the U.S. announcement. Um, so we are watching to see if that's going to extend uh, to all these other countries. Um, and of course, China has said that you know the Olympics shouldn't be politicized. So it will be really interesting to see if those countermeasures will be China boycotting, uh, at least politically, other uh, Olympics. Um, so yeah, that's certainly something we're watching for. And on top of that, we are getting, uh, you know, more people from the U.S. calling out some of these sponsors for ignoring what's going on in Xinjiang, for example. Um, so we're also watching to see if there will be any changes on what the sponsors will say and do uh, in Beijing. Lucille, still athletes are free to compete, right? So what does it actually mean for the Olympics itself? Yeah, that's right. I, for the Tokyo Olympics last year, we actually did not see a lot of um, a lot of heads of state or dignitaries attend, uh, largely because of COVID. Um, and so, on the ground, it may not actually mean huge differences um, in the amount of uh, sort of uh, yeah, in the amount of countries. At, at the non-athlete level participating. Um, however, it is sending a message to Beijing. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.